I'm uh, Isabelle Morel and I'm a dancer and choreographer. I live in Paris and I'm working with Raoul Yaisa for about 10 years. I started dancing, I was around four years old and I also studied theatre when I was a teenager. Uh, and uh, I decided to be a professional dancer when I was only 23 met my first uh, guru, I mean my ma master, who was Iwana Masaki, who is a, a famous Japanese buto dancer when I was 17. And uh, I did decide after working with him I want to be a professional dancer after I finished my uh, history of art studies at the Ecole du Louvre in Paris. The play I'm uh, La Madonna. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm a woman who is in a sort of discussion with with uh, God, and who is confronting the challenges of of uh, having a child. Why I had a very difficult time being a dancer, because I'm not a conventional dancer. Uh, my my uh, approach to dance is not uh, academic at all. So I feel very comfortable working, for example, with Raoul, who is directing me for who I am, with my various, uh, I don't know, abilities. Uh, for example, buto dance is not an academic style of dancing at all. It's in between dance and theater and visual arts. So. I, I always was in between, in that position to be interested by many different fields of uh, knowledge. And for example, in that piece, Ave Eva, my knowledge about uh, Christian art, you know, like, like uh, Baroque art or medieval art, what I study as a student, helped me a lot. The work is, was based with a lot of uh, material that are coming from painting and sculpture from uh, Middle Age to Renaissance to Baroque period. And it was, the, for me, the material that helped me to build my, my dance during the show. Very honored to, um, to have the opportunity to open myself to uh, such a beautiful figure of uh, humanity. And, uh, to go back to questions about me being a student, my first teacher always said, you are not moving, you are being moved. Means when you dance, it's not about yourself, it's about greater forces or energy that make you dance. So in that project, it's the perfect opportunity to, to be open to things that are, represent a, like waves of the story of, of a, of uh, La Madonna is a story of a real uh, lady, a real woman. So the the, the purpose of the uh, that's how I feel about this performance is to uh, sh uh, share the human dimension of this experience outside of being or not a Catholic person. We met uh, with the Yehudi Menuhin Foundation in the frame of a European program called Sharing Voices. Uh, he, he was invited as a director and I was invited as a dancer and it was a program based on the idea to explore uh, interdisciplinary uh, practices and collective intelligence uh, ways of creating uh, uh, creative material or or to, to create uh, uh, creative ways to also teach children because we belong to the same, at that time, to the same uh, uh, network called MUSE. But in general we had a lot of, uh, I mean it's maybe the fifth, fifth or sixth time we, we were performing this piece. In, we performed in, in Poland at the Gro Grotowski Institute and we performed in Transylvania, Romania. And for example, in Romania, it was very interesting because they have the tradition to have long talks with the performers after the show. So after the show, you they can ask a lot of questions and you talk a lot. And, and a lot of people were really moved 
uh, women who are very touched, a lot of them, they said they cried because they can recognize themselves very easily, even though they don't feel connected, for example, to Christian uh, uh, religion. And uh, also we had remarks of people who noticed that effectively in the history we forgot to mention the roles of women. They, ac they acknowledge that, that, that fact that a lot, a lot of uh, women participation to human history was not recognized as, as it should be. And um, I think people were interested by the fact that the meaning and the, communi I mean, the communication of the piece goes through music and dance. 